Payton. Mm. Christy Yamaguchi. Yeah. Walter Payton, as I was growing up. Okay. Chicago Bears running back. Michael Phelps. I went to the ESPYs one year and sat directly next to him. He's so beautiful and so tall in person. And he was, <laughs> he was just a really nice guy. And, of course, he's an incredible athlete. So. I like the way you describe him. So mm -hmm. beautiful and so tall. As I am looking up, imagining having flashbacks. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of romantic things now, a new rom-com looks at what it means to be a modern family, and it's made by an actual family. Check this out. I'm Alice. Hey, Alice. 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 Mom. Alice, please stop avoiding me. Alice, look at me for a second. Alice is newly separated. Loser. Okay. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon stars as Alice Kinney, a single mother with three surprising new roommates in Home Again. Three aspiring filmmakers who she meets during a night out on her 40th birthday party. Co-stars Pico Alexander, Nat Wolf, and John Rudnitsky. Wow, they develop a kind of one-of-a-kind bromance on and off the screen. Well, they made a really interesting decision to all live together while we were filming the movie. Every day they come in, I was like, how's it going as roommates, guys? And then you work together all day. But they really enjoyed it. And it was nice that they they just seemed like brothers or old friends. I said, Pico, do you want to just move in? And he said, yes. Yeah. And then, and then John just kind of felt excluded. But then I just felt like he at first said no, John, and then and then we got it, we got him. What about your play? Will you stay for it, Daddy? When is it again? Next Friday. Those are some good-looking roommates. From brotherly love to brotherly love, Home Again says you don't have to be blood to be a family. Home Again is rated PG-13. You're loving this, huh? I had to go in a little bit closer to get a good look at those actors. Well. Nothing goes Love better with good-looking men and a great movie than Primo Popcorn. Primo Popcorn. Of course. This month, Primo Popcorn has something sexy and sinful for you. Candied raspberry popcorn smothered in rich dark chocolate. Oh, so yummy. Ew, don't be creepy. Sinful <laughs> raspberry. Can't get any more sinful unless you pair it with Primo Popcorn's vanilla bean custard. Oh, Yum. yes. That is awesome. Can we try it? Can yeah, definitely. It? So okay. I was already eating this one in the commercial break. Okay, go. So e good. Eat another one on camera. Cause, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I'm going to eat, eat two. Okay. I've been waiting uh, kind of all show for this one. So the good. The new thriller while she's eating. Mm. It is getting a lot of buzz. Hoping to scare up big box mm. office numbers with a mostly kid cast. I saw something. A clown. Yeah, I saw him too. The new supernatural horror movie, It is based on Stephen King's 1986 novel. It follows a group of bullied kids who face their fears after confronting a shape-shifting clown who hunts children. Ugh. The film's ensemble of young actors took filming the frightening flick in stride. It, it was definitely unsettling to do scenes with Bill, uh, which is sort of the point. And then, you know, once we cut, he was really cool, and he's just the coolest guy maybe I've ever met. And it's funny, we'd be in a scene, and he'd be, like, choking us or something. And then after the, he, after the scene, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I just want yeah, yeah. to make sure I'm not hurting okay. you. Yeah. Can we, could someone give him a pillow for his head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is rated R. It's got a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes and an 8.5 out of 10 on IMDb. I looked it That's up. That's good for, for, those, for the Rotten Tomatoes because they can be a little harsh. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they can. And I don't always look and see what they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always look, but I don't always listen. Mm -hmm. And so in this particular case, I am kind of looking forward to this one. Yeah, very cool. All right, time now for our next treat from Primo Popcorn. I tried to grab this a second ago, and he wouldn't let me. Licky, licky, <laughs> look. Primo Popcorn now offering their frozen custard in pint sizes. Perfect. Take your favorite flares home to share or not. You don't have to share it. Looks like there's enough for you, Kelly, today. Yeah, but because maybe now we I just, get two. Maybe we saved the big one for the, our wonderful crew. Erica's already talked. She's already, yes. like, claimed that. Kapu. She said, Kapu, I'm going to take that one. Oh, and all their custard flavors are so good. I'm so ready. Are you? Oh, we get to share. I but know. it's the small they, one. I actually got two spoons off. Well, I'll just take a s small taste. Mm. So creamy. That's great flavor. Always so good. I love it. All right, well, we love Thursdays <laughs> with Primo Popcorn, obviously. Yeah. Are you so jealous? I would be so jealous watching this right now. <laughs> Trust me, this is amazing. You can check out these flavors or any of their unique flavors. Head on down. If you haven't checked out the store, I mean, you've seen it on Living Hate Await. We've had mm -hmm. hamburger flavors. We have Pizza the Raging flavor. Crab flavors. 
It is so cool and so fun, and they're yeah. great gifts. So I'd say head on down. Again, they're a store on Sand Island Access Road. Yeah, and if uh, you can't get down to their store, or if you live on the neighbor island, don't sweat it, because all you got to do is click and shop online at Ooh. primopopcorn.com. Yeah, so no excuse. There you go, online. Yeah, so good, so good. There's nothing like being with your family for the holidays, mm -hmm. is there? No, there's not. Yeah. All right, David Daniel has that and more in the Hollywood Minute. How much did this cost? Can you put a price tag on Wonder? I actually just wanted to enjoy Christmas this year. You are a mom. Moms don't enjoy, they give joy. She's going to keep treating you like this until you fight her. Physically, I don't want you to meet my mom. The bad moms are back, and their mothers are in town to make the holidays truly special in A Bad Mom's Christmas. The follow-up to last year's hit comedy reaches theaters November 3rd. Hollywood hyphenate John Krasinski is keeping his next film in the family. Krasinski and his wife, Emily Blunt, are starring in Paramount's A Quiet Place, which has just begun filming. Krasinski is also directing the movie and wrote the screenplay. It's due out next April. I felt it was important. Donald Sutherland is getting an honorary Oscar. The veteran actor is among this year's recipients of the Motion Picture Academy's Governor's Awards. He'll be honored at a Hollywood gala November 11th, 50 years after his breakthrough role in The Dirty Dozen. Now that's a career arc. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Mm. Yeah, very good. Awesome. Doing, you doing all right over there? I'm doing great. I have put a pretty big dent in this. Clearly, the or not part of the sharing has has been taken into full effect. I went like this for a second, and you didn't dig in, so I brought it back. All right, coming, back. Bro, coming up <laughs> after the break, we're going to head back to Hawaii's Kitchen. Here you go. Uh, I got that, though. <laughs> yeah, Chris, there you go.